As a perfectionist, I like to dedicate my Sundays to be my slow down days. Today, I'm slowing down and practicing what self care means to me. As someone who has a like slight addiction to takeaway coffee, I'm actually just gonna go find some good instant coffee so that I can get used to having that instead. It's getting way too reliant on my local coffee shop. Her hair blends in the trees. Lavender for love. What is it? Oh, oh that looks so good. Tomato. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. But look at there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today, I desperately desperately need to clean my room when i first moved in i had like a couple days where i was like really motivated and i ended up getting a lot done i put away a lot of clothes but i kind of just left it because i got so sick i couldn't finish like the things that i started i am going to do a little bit of tidying do a little bit of organizing of all my makeup and my clothes i also really want to do a self tan today because i've been so unwell i haven't been going outside so i'm just really pale at the moment it's fine there's nothing wrong with that but i look healthiest when i have a bit of color to me it is literally so cold today in sydney it feels like i'm in the blue mountains or something right now so i'm kind of happy to be inside for most of today i really want to do a bit of thrift shopping over the next week or so maybe next week to get some like really beautiful maybe like photo frames little trinket bowls my mom got me this from the thrift store the other day. I'm also gonna get a bed the following week as well, finally. I need to just make a decision on one. I'm excited to have this space to myself. I don't know if I mentioned this in my first video, but the vibe is definitely like vintage coquette style. It's gonna be so good, but first things first. I'm gonna have this coffee and then I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. This is the reality, but the tulips are looking so cute. to fix up this mosquito net i know it's looking a little bit sad but i do have a plan to lift it higher and when i get my bed i think the room is going to look much better Fried broccoli, eggplant, a bit of sauerkraut. Also, uh, sun dried tomatoes and cabbage and curry. is finally going to be here in Sydney in two weeks. I'm beyond excited. I miss him so much because I moved here so abruptly and unexpectedly. I had to leave him behind until I had somewhere to settle. Finally, I'll be getting him in two weeks and I'll be getting all the rest of my things as well. It's been like three months since I got here and I'm only just really starting to feel settled. I had some lunch and now I'm going to spend some time doing a little bit of journaling on the balcony because the sun is out. It is so beautiful outside. It turned into a gorgeous day. thought that I might just do some journaling prompts. I'm going to look on Pinterest and see if I can find some inspiration because lately I haven't been journaling as much as I used to. Journaling is the one way for me to really unleash all my creative energy and I kind of want to break past the stagnancy. I'm just going to sit in the sunshine for a little while. I still have a few parts of my room that need to be cleaned. So I'm going to do that after I take a little bit of a break. 
I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have these chapters in life where I don't like to journal because sometimes I feel like the self-reflection makes me spiral and actually does worse than it does good. Now that I'm settled, I finally feel like I can self-reflect. So I used a few self-reflection journaling prompts to help me. This really did make me feel better. I felt more aligned with my own mind and my emotions. Bye. I think I'm gonna go to the store to get some strawberries to put <laughs> in this bowl. As soon as I saw it, I immediately thought it would look so cute with some fruit in it. If you know, you know. It's one of those days outside where it is so beautiful that I don't know if I should go out for a little bit or if I should just stay inside and relax. Now I am gonna go to the store and I'm gonna get some carob chocolate because I've had a little bit of an obsession with it lately. Blue skies. I always feel so much better after a nap. I'm gonna have a shower and do my self tan routine just because it's getting late now and I need like lots of natural light to do this. As you guys would have seen, I put my tulips on my bedside table. How is the dresser already looking like this again? I try my best. I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna use the Coco and Eve tanning foam that I always use. editing and then I'm going to make a tea. I really want to make a chamomile tea tonight. It is so cold. Over on my Instagram, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me to talk about. I got one question that I thought was perfect for the whole concept of this video. The question is, when you're feeling down, what is one of the first things that you try to do to feel better? It speaks to so many people and I feel like every single person's answer is different. Me, personally, the first thing that I'll do when I'm feeling down is actually to do something off my joy list. If you guys watch Dating Myself, you would have seen the video already, but I literally have a list of things that I keep for this purpose, for if I'm struggling, if I'm feeling like I'm in a rut, if I'm not feeling creative, if I'm feeling sad, anxious, I'll pick something off the list that is accessible to me and I'll do it. Today, I chose to journal and also to go to a cafe and get a coffee. Certain things will work on certain days depending on what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. My intention for today was simply just to slow down and to begin to relax a little bit when things do get busier for me, which they are getting busier for me over the next couple weeks. I'll be able Able to handle it because when you feel like you haven't had rest your body almost becomes resentful of work it feels like it hasn't had enough time to recharge and I don't want to feel resentful toward my work I used to do self-care Sundays all the time really want to bring them back so I'm wondering if I should just do this every single week another question that I got is what is your favorite quality about yourself this is a really lovely question because it gets me reflecting on the things I like about myself, which is something that we don't do enough. My favorite quality about myself, I think, is how I treat other people. And it's something that, despite going through what I went through growing up and the bullying that I experienced, honestly, just encountering some really, really horrible, horrible, horrible people, I have still managed to keep that softness about me that allows me to be kind. While I'm grateful that I very, very rarely get trolls, it has happened a couple of times where it's put me back into that position of that little 13 year old girl who was getting bullied for looking different and it's hard. At first it was quite a shock when I got my first like hate comment. It made me realize that I am putting myself out there 
to be, I guess, critiqued in a way that I haven't been critiqued for a long time. I think my favorite quality about myself is that I keep pushing despite all of that. That is something that I'm never gonna let myself let go of. I know that my purpose on the internet is to connect with people and to provide comfort to people. I like that I can reach people in a way that I wish I could have been reached when it comes to learning about self-love. So it is now 6 p.m. So I think I'm gonna settle in for the night. Have like a cute little girly cozy night with my mom because you know, it just like heals my inner child. I don't know. I can't believe I'm here. I was just having breakfast in the courtyard and I literally started crying. It means so much to me to be here. I have tried to make Dating Myself episode four for weeks now. An entirely different episode with a different concept. Why? I asked myself every day, in the height of my creativity, am I finding I'm halting? Some of you may remember that I did actually vlog the Paris trip last year, but I privated the video out of respect for what happened. But I was excited for that trip for nine months. But I've decided to rewrite this story. I'm going to completely re-edit it to show you guys the most incredible city I've ever seen in my entire life. 